It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. If you guys like my videos, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. Also, if you guys want to support me financially, be sure to go to my Patreon page or my PayPal page in the links down below. When I was a wee little lad, I grew up on a series of books called Captain Underpants. Over the course of the series, Captain Underpants fought various monsters. He fought against a talking toilet, a wicked wedgie woman, a professor poopy pants, and a bionic booger man. And of course, whenever he defeats his enemies, he always shouts, troll a these series of books captured the minds and the imaginations of many kids throughout America. The Captain Underpants books, like the Harry Potter books, were pretty controversial in its day. I remember how schools used to ban Captain Underpants because apparently the crude humor was too much for parents. To me at least, just reflecting back on that moment in time, it's kind of ridiculous because Captain Underpants is essentially the stable for kids' humor nowadays, so what the heck? When I was a kid, I loved the Captain Underpants book so much that I wanted a TV show or a movie series based upon that book franchise. As I got an older and older and older, yes, I'm so old right now, I have a freaking mustache and a beer right now. As I got in that much older, I saw the possibility of a Captain Underpants TV show or a Captain Underpants movie will never, and I do mean ever, be a freaking possibility. However, I was proven to be wrong because DreamWorks finally made a TV show and a movie. When you guys watch the TV show, it's very different in many aspects. For starters, the movie was made in CGI, however, the TV show was made in traditional animation. Also, I noticed that the voiceovers were very different than the movies. In the movie, George Beard and Howard Humpskins were voiced by adults, whereas the TV show, they were voiced by kids. Personally, I thought that the kids' voices were way better because after all, they're freaking kids, not adults. One final difference between the movie and the TV show is that the movie was actually more accurate to the book than the TV show. In the movie, we had elements of the first book, the second book, and the fourth book, the TV show, however, the stories are completely original. If you're a kid at heart, like crude humor, or grew up on the books, I highly recommend this series from Netflix. I give the epic tales of Captain Underpants a 3 out of 5. What do you guys think about Captain Underpants? Tell me down below. Until next time, guys, take it easy. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.